Good evening, everyone. Thanks so much for joining us on a very busy Friday night. I'm Lindsay Davis in for David. A lot to get to tonight, and we begin with that deadly attack at the Capitol after a man drove onto the Capitol grounds, plowing into two Capitol police officers, then getting out and threatening them with a knife. Officers opening fire, killing the driver. But sadly tonight, one of the Capitol officers has also lost his life. The blue sedan coming to a stop against a security barrier. Investigators there pouring over the scene. Other Capitol Police officers responding to the violent intrusion, as well as an immediate response force from the D.C. National Guard. Capitol workers ordered to shelter in place. A helicopter seen landing outside of a window. Officer William Billy Evans rushed to the hospital, but he could not be saved. A solemn procession seen escorting his body from the hospital. And at the Capitol, the flag lowered to half staff once again, less than three months after the Capitol siege. ABC's Chief Justice Correspondent Pierre Thomas leads us off tonight from the Capitol. Tonight, another deadly attack at the U.S. Capitol. Authorities say a man slammed this car into a security checkpoint along Constitution Avenue. The suspect rammed his car uh, into two of our officers and then hit the north barricade barrier. At such time, the suspect exited the vehicle with a knife in hand. Our officers then engaged that suspect. Uh, he did not respond to verbal commands. One of the officers was fatally wounded in the encounter and the suspect fatally shot. When he exited the vehicle, the knife was clearly in his hand, and he did start to run uh, toward the officers. Officer William Billy Evans, an 18-year veteran, was pronounced dead at George Washington University Hospital. A solemn procession, a line of police cars and motorcycles, taking his body to the city medical examiner. The incident came with the Capitol still haunted by the echoes of the January 6th insurrection. Reacting to the emergency, the D.C. National Guard deployed an emergency response force. Soldiers and airmen sent in support of the Capitol Police. Inside, people told to shelter in place. No entry or exit is permitted at this time in any building of the Capitol complex. You may move throughout the building, but stay away from exterior windows and doors. Law enforcement urgently working tonight to determine motive. Sources identifying the suspect as Noah Green described as an African-American male in his 20s. It does not appear that he is known to the Capitol Police or the Metropolitan Police Department at this time. Tonight, President Biden ordering flags lowered to half staff, releasing a statement saying he's, quote, heartbroken over the attack. Another horrific day for the Capitol Police, who lost Officer Brian Sicknick less than three months ago after that vicious mob attacked the Capitol. I ask you to please keep the United States Capitol Police family uh, in your thoughts and prayers at this time. Uh, it has been an extremely difficult and challenging uh, year for us. Difficult to say the least. Pierre Thomas joins us now from the Capitol. And Pierre, officials are still searching for a motive in this deadly attack, but authorities say at this time it does not appear to be terrorism related. Lindsay, tonight here at the crime scene, authorities say no obvious ties to terrorism so far. But we're told they're dissecting this young man's life, looking at every angle, including all of his recent communications and associations. It's early, Lindsay, so nothing is concrete. Still very early. Pierre, our thanks to you. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.